Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Tyler Hornby here, jazz drummer, composer, and educator, born and raised in Calgary. And uh, I'm here today to talk about soloing on the drum set and some things you can do to help you solo and improvise on the drum set, specifically actually playing melodically actually on the kit. And one of the ways that I like to do this is to learn jazz standards, learn jazz tunes just in general, and learn to sing the melodies myself so that I know the form, and then usually take something from that melody and try to apply it to the drum set. Uh, this can help with your vocabulary, this can help with phrasing, all sorts of things. So the form I'd actually like to focus on today is the 12 bar blues. And there are many thousands of blues songs out there. Uh, one that I really, really like a lot is by Sonny Rollins and that is Tenor Madness. Now, if you haven't heard Tenor Madness before, please go and check it out and hear his version first and foremost. Uh, but for now, I'll just sort of sing the basic part of the melody so you can understand what I'm going to take from it and what we're going to utilize on the drum set. So the melody goes like this. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so that opening riff is something that we can utilize and take as an anchor for our solos. For many drummers, it's very, very intimidating to take a drum solo and we don't want to get lost in the form. And as a drummer, you want to play the tune. So I like to take things and outline them. So that little riff, ba 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 do ba 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 do we could take that and just play that on the snare drum. One, two, one, two, three. Now, we could utilize and say that that is our call, okay? Now, this is 12 bars, so we could use that call in the first set of four bars, and then in bars five and six and then again at the end of the last four bars, and then we could have a response. Now the response could be something on the toms, so reorchestration, in other words, using different instruments, or the response could even be on the snare drum and just playing a different rhythm. For now, let's try using the toms as the response. So I'll go through the form, da 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 different idea, ba 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 da ba 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 da and now we're at the top of the form right there, okay? All right, here we go. Let's have some fun with this. One, two, one, two, three. Those different ideas now create contrast and those are responses to the calls, okay? So you can use this in any solo in any form, okay? And what I like is that it takes something of the melody and puts it right into my solo. Now what I can also do is take that same rhythm and now melodically try to put it on the drum set. This is sort of melodic conception. Now you're not gonna have exact pitching, but you can have a high to low reference and that can sort of give the essence of the tune. So now what I'm going to do is rather than just going ba 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 da ba 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 da only on the snare drum, now I'm going to play. Okay? That again will be our call and then there'll be something different for the response. So we'll do one chorus like this. And that is Okay? You can utilize whatever sticking you want, okay? Here we go. 1 2 one, two, three. All right. Now we have this exciting thing. And now from the audience perspective, they have something that they can kind of latch on to a little bit. And in blues music, there is often a lot of repetition, a lot of repetition in solos of all instrumentalists. So if you want to repeat a phrase and then go away from it and then come back again, this is completely normal and all musicians utilize this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, 
but we're going to add another element to create even more contrast, and that is dynamic shape. So what I will do is I will do one chorus utilizing the melodic call and then the responses, and we are going to do one big crescendo. We're just going to get louder and louder and louder. And what will happen is it will intensify. It will take it because we are repeating their phase and then we are coming back to it. And then we're repeat, repeating that phrase and then we're coming back to it again. But it's getting louder and louder. So it feels like it's this like avalanche coming at us, okay? So here we go. One, two, hear how that creates even more contrast and we might even try that one more time. Now at the end I did something that's called sort of a, an exclamation point, okay? And this is something that the symbols can really help out with. In other words, okay, this is the end of a phrase and it's the beginning of a new idea. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two choruses and I'm going to have a little bit of shape now, dynamics, and I might move away and incorporate the symbols a little bit more, but I'm still going to throw in that call, not maybe every set of four bars, but many of the four bars. And you can hear how it will retain some of that life of the melody, but still give me the freedom to move away and do different things and still maintain the form. Okay, so here we go. One, two, uh, uh, uh. So, some dynamic shape, some incorporation of symbols, but we're still maintaining that call and response theme, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take several choruses, maybe even up to four choruses, and at the top of each form, I will outline that melody. I will incorporate other things, other sounds, I will try to use dynamics and give different shape, and hopefully this becomes, and I get to create a musical solo right on the spot. And you can do this in your own practice, at your own tempo, over top of whatever tunes you want to check out. But it's something that I have found very useful in my career to date. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, oh, oh. that gave you something to work on and a few ideas that you can work on in your own practice sessions or just pat on on your thigh or whatever it is that you want to do so hope you enjoyed the session and have a great day